What's going on, Jam Packed Gaming? It's the Catch Pajamas, and I'm bringing you part two to my first strike Call of Duty Black Ops map pack review. Today we're going to be going over Berlin Wall and Stadium. Now, Berlin Wall was a wall that divided Eastern and Western Germany way back in the day, actually not that long ago. And I find it awesome that Treyarch made a map based on historical um, kind of moments in time and I'm not going to give you guys a history lesson on it if you want go to your library and check it out or something and uh, yeah so the first rushing route I'm going to show you is if you spawn over here by the A flag head up your own street and to the right you'll see right there that's the middle crossing head up your own street to the far side of the map and cross over into the enemy side of the map what I like to do over here is pick off people from their spawn and it is a great way to get kills as, as you'll see in a minute to kind of chill out in their spawn if you see on the mini map that red zone that is where um, it's kind of called no man's land and if you run across that an alarm will sound and turrets will mow you down in a second so try not to go through that on the other side of the map if you spawn over there head across this street and into this building check out the fountain tons of people like to run through there also, you can watch this street and head over here to the tunnel, and by doing this, I can guarantee you, you'll get every kill streak you have set up on your list. And you're going to see that put into action right here. Um, Berlin Wall wasn't my favorite map to begin with. I found it very linear, but at the same time, now I'm starting to love that linear feel to it, and I'm having tons of fun with this map, more fun than I definitely did before, and it's growing on me. So, uh, I suggest if you guys are hating on this map, give it a try, try out the play styles that I'm showing you here, try out those roofs, and definitely you will notice that the map is a bit more fun to be on. Alright, so next on our hit list is Stadium, the last map of the online multiplayer map pack. Alright, Stadium. I bet a lot of people would agree with me on this one that it is one of the best maps in the game. It's pretty big. I mean, sorry, not one of the best maps in the game. One of the best best maps in the map pack is a pretty big map, and it's based off of an American ice hockey stadium, I believe. And you can see right here that beautiful stadium, hockey. What what? Um, so yeah, this map is tons of fun, lots of uh, wide open areas, and lots of close quarters combat too. This first rush route I'm going to show you, run up the middle of the map and throw a pre-nade over into their um, spawn because they're going to be trying to do that to you and you can probably catch a couple guys trying to pre-nade your team. After you do that, run into the stadium itself and head up these stairs and from here you have this, uh, this outlook spot, this window and I find there is always someone in this window or on this wooden platform during the entire match. It's a great choke point and you can really pick people off from there, rack up your kills quite nicely. On the other side of the map, maybe try the prenade if you want and also head up to the window again. Maybe plant a claymore over by the stairs so no one's going to end up getting to you. But that window, like I said, is a very big point. If your teammates can control that, you pretty much have them win. Also, after you've done that, head over to the side of the map, and I love to hang out here. It seems that a lot of people like to run through these buildings or through those back alleys, and uh, just kind of, they like to chill over here, and I like to chill over here too. And by doing that, I kind of destroy them. Now, I would strongly suggest frags on this map because, there you go, it's all the flags and all the objectives mostly are out in the open and throwing a frag has the time and the distance to be able to hit your target and you can throw it over buildings and enough said, a Semtex isn't always going to make it over a building. So guys, I'm probably going to leave you with this last clip of me tearing it up in the back alleys like I suggested. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this first strike map pack review and hopefully it helped you guys out, post some great scores and let me know if you guys enjoyed it, if you want to see more reviews like this in the future. And yeah, I'm the Cat's Pajamas, peace out guys.